Welcome to our schoolroom. So this is not completely finished, but it is almost finished. And this was the first day that I've had a chance to go ahead and record it for you. So I'm not gonna go in super detail. And if you decide, if you do want to see more detail, just let me know. Um, there are a couple things left to put up on the walls, um, but this is just gonna be an overview. So I'm gonna start over here on this right side. This top part's a huge mess right now, so I'll have to do that and get rid of this stuff. But in here we have all of our craft supplies um, and extra school supplies. Then um, right here where we have this crayon that we've had for like five years and have maybe put maybe a dollar worth in it. I know, right? <laughs> but we have this crayon bag. I'm gonna be getting a basket to put right there for all of our um, for all of our library books. Then we have this bookshelf right here, which as you can see is really packed. Um, on top I have those two things that I'm not completely sure if I'm gonna keep there or not, but for now that's where they're staying. And then something that I'm listening to. Um, got all these books. Um, then next to that we have my daughter's violin. We have a building thing. That probably won't be staying there, but it's there for right now. Then we have my daughter's desk, which has some toys and some extra stuff on it. Uh, above that, we have the dry erase board. Um, this, I believe I picked up last year at, oh, where from, from, the learning resources scholastic or something like that I don't remember um, Lakeshore learning from Lakeshore learning uh, this I actually picked up last year at Staples I believe and it is one of my favorites so this here is a chalkboard it can hold any pencils or whatever and it has magnets on the back so just looks like a cute little Thing, and I like that it has the wood panels in the back. So that's actually one of my favorite things I have. Um, then I've got some scissors and that's just our dry, just dry erase. We have another thing that's gonna go here. I just haven't gotten around to hanging it. We're still working on some cartons for here. Probably won't get to it this year, but we'll see. Then we have my daughter's little shelf. Um, this has all of her um, school supplies that she uses quite often. Um, then she's got some of her school books. We don't have everything in. Um, and then down here we've got some other school books, her so drawing books, um, some of her stuff is in her desk. And then we just bring over one of our chairs from the table. So that's why she doesn't have a chair there. Then we have the kids' computer, nothing special, lots of cords everywhere. They actually built this last year. Hey, hey. They actually built this last year. Um, got this cute little sign a few months ago in the Target dollar spot. I wanna say it was three or five dollars. Then we have this uh, five by five cube shelf from Ikea. This is one of my favorite things. Um, it holds quite a bit, which is also kind of bad. So up there is mostly just decor. I have to still dust up there. I haven't done that. and. I have a couple things that fell over that I have to put back. Um, I'm not going to go through every single section that I have here, um, but you can see basically how it's laid out. So over here I have stuff that we aren't really using this year. Then I have um, stuff that we'll probably be using this year. Then I have some other games and stuff and then my things. Um, some things that we can go through, but I want them to be supervised with. We have some other games, more learning games, more learning games, more learning games, some history books, history books. This is my daughter's, uh, daily box, um, and binders, my son's daily box and binders. Um, uh, we have some science stuff there, some science and some reading books and some more science stuff there. Um, dictionaries, encyclopedias, all of that there. More science and um, 
like animal science books there. Here we have paper and art books. We have some of the Magic School Bus Science Kits here, our Lego set, um, our school Lego set, and some other randomness. And then here is some tissue boxes as well as um, a bunch of chalk and a bunch of language arts supplies that we'll probably use as the year goes on. Um, here we have our paints and paint supplies and some tie-dye stuff. So it's kind of hard to see because of the lighting, but I have two books two green baskets. I got these last school year at um, the dollar store for a dollar each. That one's a little bit bigger and then there's this one. So that one holds all of our paints, pastels, all of that stuff. This is all of our brushes and things we put paint in. Then down here I have, um, let's see. So this one is the Uniflix cubes. My son uses those quite often, so I put those in a separate thing. Just have some brown bags here for different projects. This one is all of our um, non-math related um, manipulatives. So language arts, history, science, any extra manipulatives on there. And then here we have, and then here we have all of our math manipulatives. So I've got our factor triangles right here. Back there I have our percentages and other stuff. And here we have any flashcards and time things. Just all right there. And then right next to it right here. Yes, that's a dog bone. Um, right next to it right here are just some um, different magazines that they can just look through and read whenever they want. Um, Got some on the solar system, some that are zoo books, a bunch of different ones. Um, so right next to that, I have a US map that I'm gonna be replacing, probably our other one. I have these hooks here from last year, so I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna work these into this year. These we used mostly when we were doing the All About Reading and All About Spelling, which we are no longer using, but we still do use these boards. Um, I picked them up at Ikea and we got a trash can and some other randomness and then we have my desk. So my desk has some decor stuff, some math things that I want us to go through one more time and then sell, pass on. And then this brown box right here is a box of crafts. Um, my desk, I'm not going to go through right now. It's kind of a mess, but um, that's where I'll sit while they're doing school. That's where I plan stuff. Um, um, and then next to the desk, I have, uh, these four bins that are just random stuff. So I've got like a little chart board. I've got these gigantic straws for science projects. I've got some extra bookmarks and some, um, tickets. And then this actually goes with a demolition, demol demolition science kit. This is other science things like goggles and um, the tubes and everything. And then this one is, this one is erasers and the squish balls. So just some extra stuff that I had left over from last year. Um, and then this is gigantic clock. And then these drawers here are my school supplies um and then extra folders notebooks binders paper like um ruled paper and then candles on the bottom then this is my son's desk it's kind of where i have everything right now um i want to get him some type of little shelf like that but we're still figuring that out so his is all kind of messy right now that's the thing that's going to go on the other wall um, and then just have that hung up. I'm gonna put some photos on there. Um, and then that is basically it. I do have in here this keyboard. Say hi. Hey, Max. <laughs> I do have this keyboard. Um, we're not sure if we're gonna be keeping it. If we do, it'll stay here. Um, I do have these two stacks right here that I have to finish going through and find homes for or get rid of. 
So that's just a very quick look at our homeschool room for this coming school year. If you want to see more in detail, let me know what specifically you want to see. Um, if you want, if you have questions about something that you saw, whether it be curriculum or readers or art supplies, just let me know in the comments below and I will try my very best to show you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm still got a little bit of work left to do with this room, um, but it should hopefully be done by the time we start school.